Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome to my vlog called Hey Guys, It's Jen. Hey guys, it's Jen. So, as many of you know, I recently have given up my friends in order to work on my vlog. Now, a vlog is short for video blog, but if vlog is still too wordy for you, you can just go and everyone will know what you're talking about. So, as many of you know, I work in the fashion industry. I just said as many of you know <laughs> two times. As many of you know, I work in the fashion industry. Working in the fashion industry has always been my dream, but once again, my dreams were wrong. Don't get me wrong, I love my job. It's just the only annoying part is when I come in in the morning and my female boss bites me in the face. The blood drips all over my computer and it really sucks. Now, today, after my boss bit me in the face, I realized that everyone I work with is a pig. My bosses are pigs. My colleagues, pigs. The interns are pigs and the doormen are pigs. I really should not have fucked all of the interns and all of the doormen. They're all pigs. Bitches and pigs. It's like my bosses are pigs and my friends are pigs and my roommates are pigs. I really should not have fucked all of my friends this summer. They're all pigs. The only one who's not a pig is my new pet pig. People are starting to call me that girl from Murray Hill with a pet pig, which is embarrassing and it makes me feel special. I like saying the word ironic. Ironic. I just like how it sounds. Ironic. <laughs> you know? People think they know my life because they saw The Devil Wears Prada. But I saw The Devil Wears Prada. That movie was a roach. I was like, um, enough already with The Devil Wears Prada. You know, you know, The Devil doesn't wear Prada. The Devil wears red horns and a cape. You know, and you know, someone needs to tell these actors to stop giving all their characters feelings. Because my boss doesn't have feelings. My boss is just a tall twig bitch pig. You know, and someone, honestly, someone needs to tell Meryl Streep to stop giving every character feelings. Because not everyone is complex, Meryl Streep. Not everyone is complex. Big deal, Lauren Weisberger. So you wrote a book. You wrote a book and you went to Cornell. Well, so did every Jew that I went to camp with, including my brother. And he fucked you and now he's gay. He fucked you, but now he's gay. Oh my god! Scissors! I have been looking for these. You know, I was reading a magazine article about uh, presidential candidates, and I was thinking that I really hope Hillary Clinton runs. You know, because she's a woman. Anyway, time to get personal. Okay, so you guys, last night I went out with this guy and he was disgusting. That's it. <laughs> no, seriously, guys, he spent the whole time like sitting across from me at the dinner table and just like fingering me with his eyes. Sometimes I wish I was misunderstood. Oh my god, have you guys seen Ugly Betty yet? Oh, I hadn't watched it. I just saw it last night. She's so ugly. Paige, have you seen Ugly Betty yet? Paige, have you seen Ugly Betty yet? Paige, have you seen Ugly Betty yet? Paige? Oh, there she is. Sorry, she's talking to someone. She's not listening to me. Paige, have you seen Ugly Betty yet? <laughs> She's so mad at me. Paige doesn't like me, I don't think. Oh my god, you guys. I totally got a new map. I don't know if you could see this map, but um, this map is Jen's world, and I don't want you guys to think that I'm biting off of all the other vlogs that have maps in back of them, because this map was made for me. Yes, this map is special. That's why it says Jen's world. It was made for me. There's this store in the West Village now where, like, 10th Avenue and 10th Street become, like, the same exact moment. You know, it's just like insane. But you can get maps made that are specially for you and they just put all the cities and all the countries that you like on one map and they just erase the rest of the countries, like the countries you don't really know or the scary countries, or they just black them all out, you know? 
So like this has all the places I like to go on it, like Miami, which is where I did my study abroad my junior year, and Paris and London, and most of my map is Manhattan, and there's my office, and there's my gym, and there's me taking a cab to my office and then back to the gym and a cab and a cab and a cab and a cab. And that's pretty much it because you know like I just like seeing the places I like. You know? Because listen, Korea, you're great. You know what? I don't have to see you every day. Okay? Because that's some scary shit. My dad called me and he said, Korea's got a nuclear weapon. I was like, great. So, no offense to my Korean fans out there. I mean, it's offensive, but no offense. Anyway, that's my new map. And, um, oh! So I've been trying to work on a new catchphrase to sign off with, you know? And I thought that since Katie Couric doesn't know what her catchphrase is yet, I will use the following. Hey guys, so thanks for watching. Until next time, this is Katie Couric. Right? Because I don't know why she's not using that. She should use that. If I was Katie Couric, I would say my name all the time, you know? It's ridiculous. So I thought I would say that, but then I thought of this. Hey guys, thanks for watching, and until next time, remember, I've been Jen, so you don't have to be. But then I thought maybe it should just be simple. Like, love you guys, X to the O. Jen. But then I thought maybe it should just be simple. Like, love you guys, X to the O, Jen.